Alrighty, what is up, my friends from around the globe? Hope it's a fantastic day so far. Welcome back to another episode of Battleline PP Rank 1v1s. Ah, now today, those my heroes haven't really been f given too much of a shit lately. I don't know. I don't really don't know whether I want to actually like do a full on push at some point. Hard without matches, you know. Uh, I'm just in a build fight. I'm using an older version of Potion Pack. This is actually really quite nice, even though it's quite old. Um, yeah. Oh god. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna struggle with this. Oh, I need to turn down my render distance actually. Uh, god. Uh, there you go, three. Alright, my frames will be red now. Hopefully, I won't like be horrible. Alrighty. There we go, okay, I got him down. Alright, um, maybe we can get to like 17, 16 build today. know what to talk about today. Um hmm. I actually yeah let's be cliche and talk about the bad line Kohi merge. Um pretty much I think the bad line Kohi merge is mostly good. Um the only downfall with it, I guess you could say, is that um I guess I, I can understand if you were a Kohi player why you'd dislike the idea of your server getting merged into another, you know, this is the OG feel, I guess, um, people would argue. However, I think it's a very good step forward for the community of PvP in general. Um, it's very good, you know, especially, um, people, I know a lot of people have said, a lot of YouTubers have said this before, as a content creator, right. as a content creator, it's very, um, it's very nice because the size of the community has increased a fair bit. So now people will be watching, more people will be watching video, your videos, you know. Um, yeah, I think I think that's a good thing, like, in terms of YouTubing. What I also like is the idea that when it's bringing the community together, it's also making Badline sort of the hub for, like, PvP, you know. While I understand that monopolies are not necessarily good. Whoops. Um, while I understand that monopolies are not necessarily good, uh, I still feel like it's very, very, um, it's going to be very good in the sense that people are going to be allowed to play on a big server, right? And this server's going to be so big that A, obviously, is stayed before the community will be joined together. And not just that, all the game modes will be there together, and therefore it'll just feel more professional, you know? It'll feel more like an actual game, you know, like a competitive game, right? Like we're talking League of Legends, we're talking CSGO, we're talking Dota 2, we're talking StarCraft, you know? It'll feel more competitive, it'll feel bigger, it'll feel like actually a game people want to play to be competitive, right? And I understand some people don't like that idea that Minecraft's going to turn down, go down that road to become a competitive game. I understand that, but, like, see, this is the thing. Minecraft... You know, I understand it's there's too many variables, it's too ping based, etc. But its combat system, despite its simplicity, is very, very unique. Now, this is a good thing because it makes it it's sort of it's sort of quite different to any other esport. Like I guess it classifies an FPS, right? But it's a rather weird FPS, you know? And I, I, this is sort of a negative connotation associated with like um, the idea of eSport Minecraft. And although, once again, I'm not necessarily advocating for the idea of Minecraft becoming an eSport, right? All I'm saying is that the negative connotation is bad, you know, because, like, lo like you look at bow fights and stuff, like, they're so very fair, you know, like, a, a 1v1 in bow on an open ground where players have similar ping, right? Can purely the winner of that is purely based on the skill of the two players, right? So that's why I think Minecraft does have the capability of becoming an esport, and this Badline Kohi merge is just getting it closer to that state, you know. Anyway, back on to actually Badline Kohi. I think it's going to be pretty cool to have all the servers in one, and it's. Pr I think the way they're, they're going to do it is pretty nice because. They're ensuring that knockback uh, for Kohi is the same. Uh, so it's, it's the same bat knockback in Kohi. And badline knockback for other kits will be kept the same. So pop PvP will remain the same as it is on the Kohi network, which is now obviously uh, gone. Um, 
but Badline PvP will remain the same in terms of like UHC kits, you know, SG, UHC, uh, build, Skywars, etc. This is good, I reckon, because I mean, it allows people to play on what they're comfortable with, but all in the same, you know, server. And also, when 1.9 comes out, right? So this is going to be, no, one as in not rather, one point, the 1.9 Badline update comes out, this is going to be massive, you know. It's going to be real big. Because it, this is going to be so many more features, right? Um, and that will be interesting, because it's going to really change the fundamentals of PvP. The only issue I have with the 1.9, uh, when Badline updates to 1.9, is that I feel as if Badline updating to 1.9 would sort of make it hard to have unison with other servers and that's sort of the problem with having a monopoly or like a half monopoly like how's that going to work with reddit uhc you know because i don't want to if the r slash ultra hardcore subreddit and obviously the games associated with it update to 1.9 what's gonna like that's gonna that's gonna be an issue if badline has their own 1.9 style pvp because you want it to all be the same because it wants to be minecraft not badline and reddit so it's it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting, but I'm very I'm very excited for it, you know, because Badline Badline really has the capability to be big, you know. Merging with Kohi now, you're getting a fair few players. I was seeing like nearly 300 players on AU. That's pretty damn big for Minecraft, at least for a PvP server. Like, who t no one ever took this game seriously a while ago, you know. Um. But they also don't want to mess it up because you look at servers like OCTC. I never, pl I never really played on it. Obviously, there was never an Australian OCTC, right? They seem to nearly kill themselves. Honestly, like from a server point of view, they've nearly committed suicide, right? By introducing 1.9, everyone's pissed off. The players are pissed off. Literally, the PvP community is pissed off at OCTC for choosing to update. But they still did, and I'm not sure if they have plans to change back or not, but it seems as if they're starting to die out. I don't know, maybe they are. I, look, I don't know the exact details, I never play on OCTC, so please correct, uh, let me know in the comments if you have anything to say about that. That's why I think it would, it would, it would be interesting, you know, how Badline's going to, A, ha fix up the Kohi merge, which I don't actually think will be that much of a difference, you know. I, I, I think the, the idea of a new matchmaking system will be interesting, because they're changing it so, like, you don't just face random people, you get people based around your elo, like Kohi, uh, that would be similar to, for instance, um, matchmaking in Counter-Strike, League of Legends, Dota, Starcraft, as stated previously, and this will make it feel a lot more professional, you know, anyway, god, I am fucking so shit, I'm not really trying, I'm actually trying to commentate, that's why I'm PvPing so shocking, oh, what's a good pack, we've got like, <laughs> barely any matches left anyway, Let's just go changes. Mm. Anyway, it'll be interesting. I don't know. Hopefully, I got two more matches left, guys. By the way, so the episode's gonna have to end real soon. I'm fighting Elementrix, Soul Player, but I feel as if it's gonna be real fun. It's gonna be some. It's gonna be major, you know. It's gonna be a major update. And also, um, something else I want to talk about. Oh, we have two more matches. I'm gonna tr actually try to try out this fight while commentating. I've just pretty damn difficult. <laughs> Jesus, Elementrix loves his world. Um, I really want to kill Elementrix because last time I killed him, he's like, "I'm losing to all these shit people today." Like Johnny Barker, I'm like, "Lol." Um. Anyway, I was wondering, would you guys be interested in watching some League of Legends content for me? I don't play very frequently, but I'm like bronze three, all right? So and I'm pretty shocking. However, I don't know, I think it might be interesting. I could, you know, if I play a fair bit more, I could obviously improve a fair bit. I think it's very possible for me to improve a fair amount. I mean, the more you play around. I was shocking at Minecraft when I first started, now I'm actually pretty decent. At least at Reddit UHC. Oh god. Um, highlights. Uh, there'll probably be another highlight soon. I'm planning to get a new computer reasonably soon, or just the, the next the next version of a school laptop, which should be a bit better. Maybe I can actually attain decent FPS whilst recording. That would be so nice if I could do that. You guys are like, I feel so bad really not uploading ever, 
Because, and honestly, the truth is, the reason I don't upload as much is I would be streaming and uploading shit ton. If I actually good, had good internet and a good computer, holy shit, I would upload so much. My channel, I reckon my channel would just, like, grow so much, so much more rapidly. Oh, God. Ali. This guy's pretty low, right? Three hearts. Shot you, shot you. Oh, God. Shot you, shot elementary. Yeah. Why am I commentating like that? Oops. Okay, he's got. Oh, damn. Alrighty, I gotta, we gotta play smart here. I'm gonna start game coming. And also, by the way, I'm sorry for going off on like massive tangents while talking. I didn't really have much flow at all. Okay, mate. Alrighty. Alright, buddy. Fucking complains about bow spam. Starts jump shotting. Uh. Motherfucker. Ah, dang. Ah, I got one more. Yeah. Alright, so just, just a variety of thoughts there about just life. You know, Minecraft life. Not that that's a massive part of my life, anyway. Um, hmm. I don't know. Um, I want to start doing more commentary about topics like this. Um, let me know what topics you'd be interested in me talking about. It could be, you know, somewhat personal, I guess. Like, obviously not overly personal, but, you know, talking about, like, politics, society, philosophy, whatever, man. Like, seriously, just let me know. It's interesting. It's good to have a talk during these times, just when you can sit back, like, even though my PvP is horrible. Well, at least when I'm recording. When I'm not recording, I can do some crazy shit, but when I am recording, no, just frames. I know my frames remain pretty high, but it feels choppy as shit. Like, anyone who records knows what this feels like. Um, yeah, is there any, any topics you're interested in? Um, I might make a schedule of topics to talk about and rank on the ones. But nah, I really want to just talk to you guys, you know? Um... That's what I've noticed about UHC YouTubers. A lot of it's, uh, when you upload things like highlights and shorts, it's a lot less commentary, you know. You're just uploading recordings of yourself talking to your friends, right? Or you're, you're just, like, talking in FFA, or which also would just be talking to your friends, right? So, that's what I like, the idea of actually having a piece series like this to commentate in. You know? It's really good for me, because help me ACOM, just public speaking in general, I mean, Public speaking for me is reasonably, my, I think my public speaking skill is pretty good, but like it's always nice to be able to um, strike up a conversation because I, I don't want to have a, a script for these. I just want to be talking and talking and just enjoying myself, you know, commentating. And hopefully you guys learned a thing or two, well, as in about my opinions. Anyway, um, I'm just going to finish it off on ranked SG. I said we could get to 1780 today, we just dropped a shit ton of you though. But look, oh well. Doesn't really matter. It was, it was good. It was good. I mean, that was the first time I commentated the first, like, literally the whole, the whole, um, uh, the whole video, which I'm proud of. Um, oh, and by the way, um, Australian students, age three, uh, in, in years three, five, seven, and nine, have NAPLAN tomorrow. Um, so if you guys are one of those. Have fun. I mean, this probably this video will probably get out. What first day in our plan writing language conventions? I'd say. So if you are part of that, have fun. Do your best. But anyway, that's all for me, guys. Sorry about the shocking PvP today, but I uh, hope that you enjoyed my commentary. And without further ado, catch you all later.